hello welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel my name is sophie and today i'm so excited to finally bring you the show me a picture of video which i actually asked probably a month ago now on facebook on instagram for your kind of ideas but i never got around to filming it and it's literally half them in the morning I feel ready to go out and party, literally manifesting a party anytime soon. So I thought, what a better day to film this video. I'm really excited to show you. I'm quite nervous because of some of the questions, but let's go. Okay. Oh God. The first, <laughs> the first question is my favorite ex. Now, if you've seen my say it or shot it video, you will know about my exes. And you'll know that there's not a favourite. What is my hair doing? I mean, the Rex is for a reason. I can't even show it, can I? Right, okay. I'm going to show you my most recent... Uh, let's see. So the most recent X. I'll just show you this picture here. Um, this was the last time we saw each other. Worst day, I'm thinking is start of lockdown right at the beginning of lockdown literally the first week of lockdown is when my grandma passed away and obviously i was already struggling struggling with um a lockdown and yeah then that happened and we had to have like an online funeral i don't really have any pictures of me i remember taking a load of pictures of like past you know like going back over childhood pictures I'd say, I don't know, a little picture of my dog <laughs> that we adopted or uh, one of these pictures I kind of did like a photo shoot but it's not the worst day, it was just the worst start of lockdown possible I guess. Oh, best day. <gasps> that is actually so hard. I have to say my birthday last year was probably one of the best times. It was two weeks before lockdown, my grandma was still alive. I just remember Let's see if I can find anything. I remember going to work and getting surprises from all the kids, from the teachers buying me presents. I never expected anything. The kids singing me happy birthday. They were always writing like, I love Sophie on the board with my little cake. The three-year-old children I um, gave classes to, they sang happy birthday to me. And it was just an amazing day. And then like, as soon as I finished work, I think I was allowed to go home early or something and got ready and went out for dinner. And it was just a really, really good night. Messiest night out. For this, I'm going to go to Instagram because I have a lot and they're all kind of the same. What happens to me? But my friend Alba, <laughs> for my birthday, she said she couldn't find a picture of us together. So she decided to upload a picture. And it's this one. <laughs> now, this is my typical night out. Why? Because I used to go straight from work without having dinner. I used to go out, I used to drink a lot because drinks were free and I'd be out about two or three in the morning, go home, have a mini hangover in the morning, then go straight to work and that would be my go-to. And because I used to end up like this, my friend Alba always used to take me home, bless her. And yeah, oh, shut up. There is one that's hilarious from not last summer, the summer before, and I was falling asleep. If I can find the video, I'll put it up. It was like already the day after, kind of the morning after. We were still out partying, but I was so knackered. I just felt so old. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was falling asleep on the bench, and my friend was like, Sophie, Sophie. Oh, okay. Oh, last day of uni. God, when was my last day of uni? Mm, 2018. So it'd be June. Oh, it might be for my like graduation prom. Okay, so I went out partying with my friends in Alicante. I'll put this up. That was an amazing night. It was Fallas, was it, in Alicante? We just had such a fun night. There you go. This was when you finish exams, the your final thesis gets accepted and you get new tattoos. <laughs> that was more or less last days of uni, last parties of uni. Oh. So this was the 1st of June, so this must have been like our last week of uni because then it was kind of exam week. 
So in exams, you don't actually go to uni, but obviously we were doing exams and going out at the same time. And then the day, the week after, which is the 8th, is when they got my, I finished all my exams. Okay, this is a random one. February 26th, 2019. I'm going to have to go on, on Instagram just because I deleted loads of pictures of my phone and I don't think I should have. Let's see, 26. Oh, there we go. February 26th, 2019. We went to Goiko. Pre-birthday vibes. 23 degrees. Oh, and then Mad Isa and Molly, we went for wine. <laughs> and then the 27 was beer pong. So that was from the 26th to the 27th of February 2019. Oh my God, my first time traveling. Okay, so unconsciously, I mean like baby vibes. I remember when I was in my mum's belly, I think she went to Turkey. Then when we were younger, I used to always go, for example, this is me and my cousins in Cornwall. So we used to do like Blackpool, Cornwall holidays around England. So yeah, when we were younger, I think every kind of year, we used to go on a little holiday. We used to kind of do Mallorca, Menorca with my family, with my dad under like a little umbrella. Where was this? I'll have to go and ask them where these were. But we used to go a lot to Cyprus, to Mallorca, Menorca. This is me showing a little bum. Um, so yeah, it used to be normally Mallorca, Menorca, Cyprus, Turkey, I think, was the typical holidays when I was younger. Okay, the last picture of a sunset that I took. I love this question because I absolutely love sunsets. And this one was a gorgeous one. So this is from the ha from downstairs and you could just see the silhouette of the city or the town i guess with the um, with the church and the the sun was just a bright bright red and it was making the whole sky red it was absolutely gorgeous you can't really see it properly but it was a gorgeous sunset <laughs> okay favorite place that i've been will 100 percent be belgium I think, yes, it's mostly because I was on Erasmus there and I have some amazing, amazing memories from there. Maybe if I went back now, it wouldn't be the same. But all I remember is Belgium and Ghent in general being the most beautiful place I'd ever been to. And this past summer, I was actually meant to go with my mum and dad and take them to show them because I never actually showed them Ghent. They never actually came to see me. So we were meant to go this past year and then COVID hit and we couldn't. So that would be one of the first holidays that we're gonna do as a family and I cannot wait to show them. I'll just show you some pictures and get in general, just like with all the friends, that's the beers, like the beers were literally this big. You have to give a shoe. <laughs> I love this concept. You had to give one of your shoes to the bar so you wouldn't steal the, the glass. And then if you stole the glass, they'd never give you your shoe back. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. This is obviously just with all my friends in the room. This was in the kitchens. We always used to have dinners together because we were all in different separate landings, I guess. So we used to meet up in one of the kitchens because we all had different kitchens. And this is, yeah, again, is absolutely gorgeous. So it'd be 100% be Belgium. My favorite outfit. <laughs> I'm not one for dressing well, I think. Everyone knows this right now. I do really tend to like what I normally wear when I go out on a night. And lately, all I'm wearing is loungewear. Let me just see if there's any. I actually do really like this. It's just a really simple play suit and it's so comfy. It's from Zara. Let's see if there's another picture. It's just so, so, so comfy. It's like a dress. I think it has actually a dress and it's just got like long balloony sleeves it doesn't like hold you in so you you don't it doesn't show your belly kind of thing and it's so comfy and it just looks really elegant on and i guess you could wear that like night or day okay one of my uh, old friends said fistera so i'm gonna go way back now being a fistera a fistera means that you are 18 in your town so when you turn 18 in the summer um festivities in the summer holidays there is a day or a week where you dress up basically in like a wedding dress and it is just a week all about you. All of the people that turn 18 at the same time have this tradition. And let me find one. 
God, I'm gonna have to go back a while. So obviously I was 18, 2014. Wow. So let me see. I think this is Paige that asked this because I have got a picture with Paige, with Paige when I was a first dater. So here we go. This is me as a first dater. This is all of us dressed up in the dresses and you got a little sash and we always got to go up on stage. That's me and my friends. This is Andil who was my photographer. I got him to be my photographer for when we were first daters. And then at the night you just change into nice clothes but then you still have the sash on and it was just kind of a very special time. Okay, a picture with makeup. I think the most makeup I've ever worn for the last, probably the last year was at Christmas when I decided to dress up for the Say It or Shot It video. So this is me. I really got makeup up like, my mum and dad bought me this like massive set of makeup from Lottie London and I decided to test it out on New Year's Eve with like the massive eyeshadow and the lips were like glittery. So yeah, I thought that was cute. I mean, it was a bit over the top saying I never left the house, but a drunk video. Wow, there's gonna be a lot. For this video, I am gonna insert now the video that my best friend Molly took of me one day when I got back from a party and she was in bed but she woke up to go to the toilet and she found me stumbling in the door trying to brush my teeth and it is probably the most hilarious video I've ever seen of me ever. <laughs> um, I don't actually have it with me but I'm going to ask her to send it me and I'm going to put it in. It's really funny as well because of what I'm saying. You probably won't understand it because I was speaking Valencian but it was a hilarious, hilarious video. I couldn't brush my teeth. I was dropping everything everywhere. I couldn't even get dressed. It was hilarious, but it was a good night. <laughs> a photo sent to an ex. I'm just gonna find like a weird random photo I've sent. Okay, so this was me drunk at New Year, no, Christmas day. And I remember sending one of these pictures. What else have I sent? <laughs> oh, like me blowing a kiss on the train. Random, but anyway. <laughs> Then a pick, oh wow, okay, a pick faking being okay. Now, I fake being okay a lot. <laughs> but the, my probably worst ever, ever summer was probably mixed with one of the best summers ever, which is really, really confusing. So me faking being okay would probably be these pictures here, Tomorrowland. I was actually having an amazing time but if you know what I said in the Say or Shot It video, which I will link, then you'll know that there's a lot of stuff happening at the same time with a guy that I was with. And so yeah, here's me kind of being okay. But then I took this picture maybe a week after I got back and it was again faking being okay because the week, literally the day that I got back was the day that my doggy died and I never got to see her before like when I got back from the festival and the holiday. So this is the day that we went to bury her. And obviously I had been crying the whole time. And this is just me faking being okay, I guess. Okay, now something that gives you peace. Sunsets at my homes in Spain or wherever give me loads of peace. I love just sitting outside. The beach gives me a lot of peace, even though I do say I never like going to the beach. When I do go to the beach, it does give me loads of peace. I love, for example, just going to see a sunset on the beach or sunrise. I actually love also going back over pictures when I was younger. It gives me peace, but also gives me sadness. So I don't really know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to say. It gives me 100% peace. A scandalous pic. I mean, I think you've seen <laughs> me on the floor. I don't know, really. Like, this is, for example... This isn't a scandalous pic, but this is a picture of one of my many nights out when I fell over and would just scrape my knees. I mean, there's lots that obviously I have not saved, but I, there'll probably be a lot of people out there that can say, oh, I've got one of her. But I'd say, yeah, the ones where I'm just on the floor. <laughs> okay, then there's another question, which is drunk at sunrise. And you've already seen the video of me like at sunrise, <laughs> questionably falling asleep. But there's also a day when I went out with my friends from Pego. We went to Denia, and here it is. And this is just us at sunrise. It was just loads of people. And we were outside the club, still drinking. The police were coming round. This was two, 
two summers ago, 2019. This is when I just got back from the festival. So obviously I was meeting my friends to try to feel okay. And they obviously made me feel amazing. This is all us the whole night. And then finally, my favorite night out with Molly. I mean, there is a lot, like going back on memory pictures we don't have of us like in Andara, Bero, like loads of nights out. I pff, miss her so, so, so much. I miss those nights. Right, so I don't actually have a picture from this night. It's one of the nights that I'll always remember with Molly and I'll just show a picture of me from that time. It was Madalena and I remember going out with Molly and her boyfriend. I'd never met her boyfriend. And that for me was like a really wholesome night out with Molly. Like we just, we were so drunk and we were just going over like all the past, speaking about our memories and how much we like loved each other, how much we were different, but we still loved each other after so many years. We've been friends for about 15 years now. And I don't even think we have a picture from that night. We've got pictures obviously, cause we lived together for a year. So I think also living together, even if we didn't go out, we'd have like, oh yeah, we, we sometimes like went out. I think we went to like Alvaro's village in like Onda and then we'd come back and we were just like on the sofa drunk or just like in movie nights. I miss my movie nights with her. There's loads of things that I miss. So yeah, there's a lot of nights out. So I hope you enjoyed that. I know it was a bit of a mess. <laughs> because I can never find any of my pictures but I do hope you liked it I did like going over the memories I miss so many of the people in these videos and these photos so I cannot wait to go back and see everybody and for things to go back to normality but yeah if you did like this video subscribe comment down below and I will see you soon for another video bye